Hi everyone and welcome to the Sunday Shave. You having a good weekend? <laughs> I hope so. Um, how are you good people doing? You alright? I hope so. Right, quite a special video this. Um, for me in particular and the reason for that is um, as you will see by the title of the video uh, a lot of people have Wickham Soap Company and they hold them in high regard with good reason. I've used one of their soaps and I was blown away uh, by its performance, its scent and everything. Now I'm using a soap today which is Wickham Soap Company 1912 as you can see there Vegetal Shaving Soap and this is being released I believe this next week um, along with three other fragrances the 1912 um, and what it is uh, Darren from Wickham Soap Company and thanks Darren for sending this um, very very grateful um, it's a soap which he if you know his soaps you'll know they're good um, he's handcrafted he's spent many hours in making this uh, this particular range 1912 uh, it'll come in three fragrances first of all it'll come in club cola it'll come in citrus musk and russian leather which this one is and this is the imperial leather scent so he's worked on it again and improved the soap so first time I've used it and I haven't bloomed the soap I'm going to use it as a customer would out of the tub and I'm going to lather that way as you can see it's a, it's still a, a soft soap but it's slightly harder than the previous one I had so you can tell it's a different range and it smells absolutely if it, if it smells like this on the face I'm going to be very happy Imperial Leather so um, as I say it's been it's he's worked on it to try and get a dense glossy lather um, with a lubric, lubric, lubricative I can't even say the word <laughs> lubricative slip as he calls it or as I call it good slickness leaves good slickness on the skin um, it's uh, hand-picked um, I've just got a little note here with some uh, what's it what yeah, it's been with some luxurious cocoa butter and premium curative vegetable oils and these ingredients were all hand-picked as he's blended them so it's um, it should be good stuff at the end of this video I will put um, at the end when I've said goodbye I'll put the ingredients of the soap um, because this is sort of a you know this isn't being sold so there's no, no info on this only the label and the scent so um, I'll put the ingredients and I'll put a little uh, bit of soap information as well so and I'll put a link to the website obviously so I'm looking forward to this <laughs> are you having a good weekend I do hope so because uh, it's, it's always a good weekend when you're having a good shave um, Parker today, Parker 22R, gunmetal finish, look at that, that's nice, good weight to it, very inexpensive razor, roughly £20, if not less now, non-adjustable, twist to open, and I'm using that Persona Hospital, Persona Hospital blade, the prep blade, so second use for the blade, very slight overhang, to be aware of um, good razor not an aggressive razor but hopefully that blade is sharp but it feels smooth and it'll go through this with no problems anyway this has been soaking as I've been in the shower I'm using shower I've been <laughs> using uh, the Samogate 30 a good go-to brush for me so here we go as you can see it I'm going to lather up from the puck I'm going to gather soap, gather, and so far, oh come on, Imperial, 
look at that. No one got a good name. Fantastic. Oh, that is thick. Right, so what I've done is I've gathered it on the brush and I'm going to dip that in water just slightly. And then let me just open the top button and then we'll off. Darren. Good grief. It's like um, a thick, it is glossy, I think. My words by you say glossy. Um, I can see what you mean. Look at this. And that's straight from the... That's hardly touching it from the puck. Oh, this... Come on. Come on. This is good. I thought your last... The Imperial Trevor was superb with slickness. I've only ever sort of heard of or felt in one of the soap. And that soap's mass produced, but this is artisan. And to tell, you know, as a viewer, as a customer like me, the reason I'm doing this in particular is because this is a British made in England artisan soap maker and a good one um, and just ask people you know it's not a I'm not being paid to do this it's because he's got a good product and I want to I said it before I'll shout it from the rooftops if people got good stuff um, and especially being British you know we can support our own as well especially now <laughs> Right, let's get going. Let's see how this, uh, that scent is beautiful. Oh, this is a match in heaven again, this razor with this blade. I bought a hundred of these blades, fantastic. And never, never put your nose up at an inexpensive razor. Because generally, if you have a bad shave, 95% of the time, it won't be because of the razor being inexpensive. It'll be something to do with the shave, the way it's performed, the prep, or the blade, and your skin, all sorts of stuff come into it, and what products you're using, and this is very very slick off the first pass now normally I can't tell a slickness until the second or third pass as you will know I add water to my face and then oof grief I can see those hours have paid off of uh, blending this soap together Wow, <laughs> I should have ordered some of this before the video actually because with quality like this you're going to sell out very quickly I think. Now this I will say in honesty the scent is the spitting image of the soap. And that it is, that's the Imperial Leather Soap. This is the modern version. Uh, lovely scent. I think the old soap, was, which was bigger than this, these are quite small bars these days, but the old soap, when I was younger, were bigger. And the scent was quite strong. And this represents the old scent. Just that beautiful... Oh, you can... <laughs> You know what I mean, if you like Imperial Leather. And this is called... Russian Leather. Very cleverly named. Okay, dip that under the tap. I'm not going to go back to the puck yet. I'm going to see what's left in the brush. 
No, I do need to go back, sorry. I used it up. So back, pick some more up. This is beautiful. As I say, it's uh, it's not a creamy soap, it's it's soft, but it's um it's you know it's not, not a cream, it's not a soap, it's that sort of soft soap. Um which look at this, look at the how clean that is, but it's picking it up lovely on the brush. And this isn't, you know, it's not a ball brush, uh, not a stiff knotted brush. I've got the blue handled uh, ball brush there, which I use for hard soaps normally. But I'm not today, I'm using this. And if this can gather a good lather with this brush, it'll do with any badger as well. So what I've done there is pick the soap up off the, look at this, <laughs> straight away. Oh, you're onto a winner here. And I've heard good things about the Club Cola. People love it. Um, I've not tried that one myself. But one that did ring alarm bells is, well, this one, the Russian leather. Um, you know, based on the Imperial leather scent. But the citrus musk. That word citrus. That's all you need to know. I'll show you this now. So I've gathered off the brush, you know, the wet brush, but not dripping. Gathered onto the tips, dipped it in water, and this is the result. Second pass. The slickness I can feel off the off the razor. Never mind off the. Now this is what I like. Not aggressive razor, right? Not aggressive. So that means the blade gap is quite thin. Now these type tend, if you don't do short strokes or rinse regular, they clog up and they will glide over the soap, if you get what I mean. This soap is slick and creamy. You can see it shining. It doesn't hamper the razor. Watch this. No pressure. That might be a bit technical, maybe, but uh, you'll know what I mean if you if you shave regular lathers. And welcome to new subscribers. Thank you so much. Nice to have you on board. The Titanic. <laughs> no, no, it's uh, all I'll say. If you're new to shaving and to this way of shaving and you're starting to enjoy this way of shaving it might get expensive because you'll be wanting to buy different razors and soaps like this and oh, it's good stuff very good stuff and as I say this blade is superb uh, and it's a second use and this isn't an aggressive razor by any means but it's a very slick soap, so it's a good test actually. Well, I can honestly say, Darren, you're on to a winner. I didn't think you could get better than the last one. But uh, one thing does worry me with an artisan soap maker is like last time, I said, listen to that, smell this, go on, did you get up, um, the soap has a don't change a thing, it's absolutely superb, and then this new range comes out, now what can happen sometimes, you lose a bit of something in the new range, and you think, ooh, it's not quite as slick as the last one, or it's not this, that, near the other, but, in all honesty, when I seen the soap was harder than the last one, I thought it might be slightly different, in honesty. And it wouldn't be as slick, or it wouldn't have the scent, or something would be different. But, no, very good, very good. The slickness is still there. And thank the Lord for that, because um, that means a lot to me. Slickness, uh, good scent, lathers up quickly. 
very good. I just what I've done, dipped the brush into the water then, and then just gathered a bit more for the last pass. If you like it thick and creamy, you just put it on like that. If you want a bit more soap, add water. If you like it soapy, I mean wetter. Oh, look at this. Oh, I wish you, if you like imperial leather, you're gonna, you're gonna be in heaven with this. Absolutely. Look at that. Oh, hang on. <clears throat> Special then, geraniums. There you go. The reason I know that, they've been handpicked from the garden today for you good people. So, um, thank you, Mrs. H. I will do a slickness test in a minute. Oh, this blade is comfortable. It's sharp, but it's very smooth about it. It's very sleek, very sneaky about it, but in a nice way, not in a devious way. Um, this soap would be excellent with aggressive razors as well, because of the protection, the slickness. Oh, the scent. It's a good scent. Good strong scent and uh, it should leave you this soap should leave you skin and I can feel can see why um, post shave should leave it very soft and that's what he's worked hard on trying to and uh, I judging by this shave your hours of work have paid off, Darren. Very nice. And I know a lot of a lot of wet shavers are going to be very happy to know this soap is coming out. Good, 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 good. Right, slickness, the way I do it, not that it needs it, it's just wet my face. And I'm gonna use what the soap has left. Oh, as I knew. Like silk. Pick up, yeah. I'm gonna have some more. Go on, smell that. Go on. Lovely. It is like shaving with a bar of soap, but of course, this is the proper shaving soap. Really well done. Really well done. I'm very proud. And in fact, the um, the picture when my video comes up on your f your um, page, your YouTube page, the uh, the picture is what um, Darren sent me. Actually, the thumbnail of this video. It's that slick, I can go with it. Yeah, Mind you, it's not an aggressive razor, this. Oh, just a bit there, just a bit. I not any soap. Let me rinse that razor. Very important to keep the razor clean. 
Listen to this. We can do it. It's only a bit. That is lovely. Very happy with that. Very happy. Don't want this to end actually. God, that's, if you just wet your hand and do that, it's like you're rubbing moisture cream on your face. God, look at that. Right, rinse off pole, okay. That is excellent. Why right, the towels over here? So you've had a good week, I hope. I hope so. We've had a bit of rain. We've had a bit of wind. We've had a bit of sun. So the weather, the weather man and the weather lady haven't been wrong this week. So whatever they've said, they've been correct. <laughs> um, I was going to say, tomatoes are fantastic uh, for those of you who are interested. Um, I got some in a little greenhouse and some in a conservatory. Now the ones in the conservatory, I've been taking them off and eating them. Superb taste, and there's more coming up. And at last, the ones in the greenhouse, I was wasn't sure, has got a lot of the baby cherry ones. They're called Sweet Millions, and uh, they're producing out. But they'll be slower, obviously, because they're outside in a plastic greenhouse. So. Uh, yeah, I won't, uh, I won't go short on tomatoes, hopefully, but anyway, never mind that. Look at this. See the shine? That's lovely. Wow. Um, I'm going to use an unscented, because I love the scent of that. Thayer's unscented. That is a very realistic imperial leather. Absolutely superb. Love Thayer's. Now, wait a minute. Don't get excited. While that goes off, I'm going to show you something. And that is a good friend of mine. Correct, Alistair. <laughs> um, was in a room somewhere in his house. And he came across this little thing, which is looks to me like a white Bakelite, uh, I think, or a very early plastic, anyway. And what's inside is that. You see that? Syndic, Sim, Syndix Toilet Razor. And it came out of a suitcase of, um, well, I'll just show you the box. And we were both talking and believe it may be a lady's razor because it came out of a, a set which was in the belonged in a suitcase like a travel set and that is the razor look at that very small we presume lady shaver um, looks like a three three piece razor Blade still in it. Oh no, it's a twist, twist at the bottom, twist to open. And I'll just show you. Long thread, see the blade, even the blade to go with this, specially made. Let's see what the blade is. Rounded edges on the blade. Uh, Dalila. You see that? D A L I L A. I think. Dalila, yeah. And then place it on top. Just like a normal razor. And the bottom. You screw back in. Fantastic. So thanks, Alistair. He loaned it to me to show you good people. And inside. There's even, you can see it, the holder with more blades in it. Fantastic, isn't it? <laughs> so.
so uh, maybe you people know more about it maybe you've seen them they're supposedly part of a travel set in a suitcase there was other things that come with this this is just part of the set and um, very nice so thanks Alistair I'll give him that back on Monday tomorrow so right now the phase has gone off I'm going to use this <laughs> that to be used the cousin's imperial leather this is the old one I bought or the original whether it resembles it doesn't smell like imperial leather from the bottle um, it is old so I don't know mm, slight tingle um, what do you think I don't think uh, at this present there's a hint of imperial leather but it doesn't sort of you know if I if I opened this when you were blindfolded and went like that you wouldn't say imperial leather um, so I don't know it may smell more like it as an hour or so goes I don't know we'll see it could be one of those aftershaves which um, produces the air uh, and maybe it might be called imperial leather but maybe it's not meant to smell like it I don't know I, it's it's old I don't know anything about it um, somebody did say on the back it says boots so this was bought from boots the chemist at one point uh, you can see that so uh, that's that and then to put the moisture back in you put that on now a good tip with this Mrs H um, has watched an actress or some sort of top end makeup artist stated that if ladies put this on Nivea this particular one um, on their face first then apply foundation the foundation goes on smoother and it lasts longer now whether that applies to everyone I don't know but Mrs H has tried it and she said it did work so I've lost a bottle of that actually but luckily for me Sainsbury's have it on offer at the moment instead of £6 it's £3.50 so uh, I bought a, a replacement <laughs> so we'll go over what we've used and that is the Parker 22R non-adjustable non twist to open razor not aggressive just a standard like a standard Gillette head that is um, Parker's version of a Gillette head um, lovely gunmetal nice grip good weight to it it's solid and I used the Persona prep blade the hospital blade uh, second time use superb very sharp but very discreet about it very smooth and comfortable shave um, the main guest of this shave the Wickham Soap Company 1912 Vegetal Shaving veg, I can't say that word <laughs> Vegetal Shaving Soap and in this range it comes in three scents as I said this is the Russian leather which is the Imperial leather scent superb absolutely superb lathered up like that no blooming um, no need for it I did it as I as somebody would buy it and you know that didn't know anything about shaving about blooming and all this sort of stuff they would just use it get the brush and start and they'd be very happy very thick uh, I can see what you mean now by the dense glossy lather it is very glossy um, very shiny and very protective very good very good the scent is superb very oh, spot on to imperial leather if you know what imperial leather soap was you'll know it straight away when you you can smell it out of the tub and when you first smell it you think, oh yeah but it gets better when it's on the face you can really smell it then and it lasts good protection good slickness um, very good very good soap um, very pleased with that so thanks Darren you're on a winner there on a winner so that is 
1912 Wickham's Soap Company. Fantastic. Samog 830 brush performs every time this is like an old friend. Rinsed off with water and Thayer's unscented because I wanted the Imperial leather scent to come through. And then this here, in a way, I'm disappointed with this because Imperial leather it doesn't smell. It doesn't smell like Imperial leather. I think they've just made, uh, unless age has changed it, I don't know. It's not an unpleasant scent. Um, it is nicer now, but it still doesn't remind me of Imperial leather. But that might be just my nose, I don't know. But I'm glad I bought it because it's just a, it's an old, you know, you can't buy it on the shelf, can you? So, um, fantastic. Mm, it, I, but as I say, it might have been made uh, not with the Imperial Leather Soap scent. It might be just their version of an aftershave. So, but it's very nice, yeah. And then, to put the moisture back in, the Nivea Men Sensitive Post Shave Balm. Um, very, very happy. Do I look younger? <laughs> I don't feel it. No, very good. Um, yeah, had a good week and a busy week. Weather-wise, it's been up and down. Tomatoes, fantastic. The chilies, I think you call them peppers in America. But the chi... Oh, something floating about. Chilies, uh, I've got about seven growing now. Um, fantastic. The stropping paste for the straight razor has arrived um, yesterday, finally, two together. So they'll be having a telling off for that because it's, it's not very good service. Um, so that will be on Wednesday now, the straight razor shave. And um, that's another good thing. That's a, that's a good soap for straight razors, that one. Um, very good slickness. God, this is soft. Beautiful. So very pleased with that. Thank you, Mrs. H, for going in the garden for the uh, geraniums. Yeah, very nice. <laughs> Deep red. And uh, yeah, and that is it. I'll leave you good people to it. So uh, have a fantastic weekend. What's left of it? What are you having for your dinner? Very good. Glad you're there. Roast duck breasts tomorrow with a skin crisp. I like the skin crispy. Um, broccoli, carrots, new potatoes, Pembrokeshire new potatoes. Um, no roast potatoes tomorrow and no Yorkshire pudding, so it'll be gravy. So new potatoes, carrots, broccoli, roast duck and gravy. And maybe a few lager or cider to go with it as I cook and as I eat <laughs> so that's it and that's it so thanks for watching thanks Darren from the Wickham Soap Company good luck with that you if you don't sell out I'll be very very shocked because that is a good product there very good product so um, thanks for watching have a fantastic week and well I'll see you halfway through it have some fantastic shaves and most importantly you take care of yourselves and thanks for all your support as usual. As I say, description, have the website to this uh, company, Wickham Soap Company. And at the end of this video now, I will put, if you want to pause it, the ingredients and a bit of soap information. So thanks for watching and I'll see you Wednesday for the midweek shave. Take care.